Hello students, so look at this question from uh, interference of uh, sound waves. Alright, but here we have got three sources. So what is the question saying that there are three sources S1, S2, S3. They are placed as shown, right? This distance is 3 meters, this is root of 27 meters and this is 4 meters, correct? Now all the three sources are coherent that is they produce the same frequency 55 hertz. I'll write over here, frequency is 55 hertz. Correct. Speed of sound is given to be 330 meter per second. Alright. V is given to be 330 meter per second. Now what's the question saying that the three sources when they emit sound and when the sound reaches the observer. So the sound reaching from S1 to the observer has intensity 9 I naught. Okay. So this one has intensity 9 I naught with the observer. Sound S2 when reaching the observer has intensity I naught. Right. And sound S3 when reaching the observer has intensity 4 I naught. So these are the intensities given. Alright. Now what is the question saying? That S1 and S2 were switched on simultaneously. S1 and S2 are switched on simultaneously. Correct. But the source S3 is switched on 1 by 330 seconds before the S1 and S2 were switched on. Alright, so now we have to find what would be the net intensity observed by the observer, okay? So first of all, let's calculate omega and uh, k. So omega will be 2 pi f, so it will be 2 pi times 55, okay? So that will be 110 pi. Similarly, the k, uh, angular wave number 2 pi by lambda will be equal to 2 pi f. Divided by speed of sound, correct. So this will be 2 pi times 55 divided by 330. So you will get this to be equal to pi divided by 3. Now we know that the equation of a sound wave or equation of any wave in that case will be what? Amplitude times sine uh, omega t minus kx. Okay. I am ignoring the phase constant phi. Okay. Now sounds from three different sources are reaching the observer correct so let's write the equation for s1 reaching the observer now first of all how much is this length equal to so apply pythagoras the uh, theorem root of uh, 27 plus 9 so 27 plus 9 is 36 so you'll get this diagonal to be equal to 6 the hypotenuse is 6 so for source s1 y1 will be a1 sine omega t minus k times i can replace x with 6 6 meters okay now what is the value of a1 so the source s1 has intensity i 9 i naught okay so uh, we could write down that a1 will be equal to 3 a naught sin omega t minus 6k now how did i get a naught so let's say that intensity i naught is equal to some function uh, c times a naught square we know that intensity is proportional to square of amplitude so this is the constant of proportionality okay and therefore 9 i naught will be equal to uh, c times a1 square and that will be equal to c times 9 a0 square. i0 will be c a0 square. Okay. So this is what you get. So a1 will come out to be equal to 3 a0. That's what we get. Okay. Now coming to s2. So for s2, y2 will be equal to a2 sin omega t minus. Source from s2 is traveling a distance of 3 meter. So we will replace x with 3k. Okay kx will be replaced by 3k and again what is a2 equal to so s2 is producing intensity i0 so its amplitude will be equal to a0 okay so this is equal to a0 sine omega t minus 3k and finally we have the source s3 y3 will be what a3 sine omega now here we have something different see we are measuring time t from the moment when s1 and s2 start producing sound but the source s3 is producing sound 1 by 330 seconds before s1 and s2 
सो द टाइम फॉर द सोर्स थ्री वुड बी t प्लस वन बाय थ्री थर्टी ओके एंड माइनस के एक्स सो इन दिस केस फॉर एस थ्री एक्स विल बी हाउ मच फाइव मीटर अपने पैसा करो स्टेट ऑफ फोर एंड थ्री एंड दिस हाइपोटेनियस विल बी फाइव सो वी गेट माइनस फाइव के सो दीज आर योर थ्री इक्वेशन राइट नाउ इज ए थ्री सो एस थ्री इज प्रोड्यूसिंग इंटेंसिटी फोर आई नॉट ओके सो अगेन अप्लाई दिस रिलेशन ओवर हेयर सो फोर आई नॉट विल बी इक्वल टू सी टाइम्स ए थ्री स्क्वायर विल बी इक्वल टू फोर सी ए नॉट स्क्वायर सो बेसिकली फ्रॉम हेयर यू गेट ए थ्री इक्वल टू टू ए नॉट एम्पलीट्यूड साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस ओमेगा बाय थ्री थर्टी माइनस फाइव के दिस इज योर वाई थ्री सो नाउ वी हैव द थ्री सोर्सेस producing their uh, oscillations okay now to calculate the net intensity we need to know the phase difference so let's look at the three phases first the whole angle is called as a phase phase difference means basically we have to find the difference in the angles inside these terms so this is your phi 1 okay now ignore omega t ignore omega t ignore omega t so for s1 what do we get For S one, your angle is minus six k. So for S one, your angle will be phi one will be minus six k, and k is what? K is pi by three. So minus six times pi by three. So that is minus two pi. For S two, what is the angle? So S two has the angle minus three k over here. So minus three. K so that will be minus pi because k is equal to pi by three. And for s three, phi three will be what? Now phi three will be omega by three thirty minus five k. Omega by three thirty minus five k. So this will be equal to omega is how much? One hundred and ten pi. One hundred and ten pi divided by three thirty minus pi times pi by three. So this is pi by three minus pi by by three. So that will be minus four pi by Three, okay. So these are your angles of the three sources. Now we use phasor diagram to find the resultant. Okay. So amplitude of resultant sound. Okay, we have to calculate that, and that can be calculated using phasors. Okay. Now, let's draw the phases for the three sources. So, for S one, your angle will be minus two pi, okay? And S one has amplitude three a naught. So now, first of all, this is your x-axis, okay? So S one has angle minus two pi. Now, positive angle is measured counterclockwise, so negative angle will be measured clockwise. So we go minus two pi, and we reach like this. Minus pi minus two pi. So total angle will be minus two pi in this direction. Okay. So this is your S one having phasor length three a naught. Then S two has angle minus pi and ang amplitude a naught. So angle minus pi means what? You go in this direction. So your S two will be drawn like this. So this is your S two having amplitude a naught. Then we talk about S three. So S three is angle minus four pi by three, and its amplitude is two a naught. So minus four pi by three means what? You could write down minus four pi by three is equal to minus pi minus pi by three. Okay. So your third vector minus pi and minus pi by three you get over here. So this is your amplitude two a naught, and this angle is pi by three. So these are your Phasors for the three sound sources. Now just add the three phasors to find the resultant amplitude. So when you add them, what will you get? You can uh, either uh, like write the components of this vector along y-axis and x-axis, then add them. Okay. So whatever you do, you will get the net amplitude. A one vector plus a two vector plus a three vector. Okay. Vector sum of these three phasors will give you the magnitude equal to two a naught. Okay, 
So the resultant intensity I net will be what? C times A net square. So C times 2 A naught square. So that is C times 4 A naught square. So that is 4 I naught. So question is asking your net intensity is N I naught. Then what is the value of N? So N will be equal to 4. Okay. You will get N is equal to 4.